Emily and I are at String Lake in Grand Teton National Park. The colors this morning off this lake are some of the most beautiful I've ever seen. It's a balmy 30 degrees this morning. It's about 7 a.m. Emily and I will be hiking up to Paintbrush Divide. I've got it calculated at about 16 miles round trip and about 4,000 feet of elevation gain. So we'll see how accurate I am at the end of this thing. We'll be hiking around String Lake and up through Paintbrush Canyon, up to Paintbrush Divide. So far, from the looks of this, it's going to be an awesome day. Ladies and gentlemen, so we we're pretty excited. We've never done this area of Grand Teton National Park yet. Never been up Paintbrush Canyon, and we've never obviously been up to Paintbrush Divide. So everything we see is brand new. And so far, so good. You can take this trail all the way to Lake Solitude and back, which is just over 20 miles and like 5,600 feet. We did a 26.2 mile hike the other day to Ice Flow Lake through Cascade Canyon. So uh, we're trying to keep our hikes at a minimum. We are just coming up on the mouth of the canyon here. We can see Mount Moran on our right and the beginning of all these big beautiful peaks. Wow. It's a gorgeous trail so far. Wow, did it open up nicely. Through this little stretch is gonna be amazing coming back. So I gotta throw a couple shots of how yellow and amazing it is. I'm throwing up a clip right now of this area on the way out because it's gonna be lit with the sun and it's probably burning my eyeballs with yellows and reds and greens and oranges. This part is amazing. What a great trail so far. So we're almost to the split, where to the left you can go to Paintbrush Canyon Trail. It's a little different. Or you can go to Holly Lake Trail. So we have decided to go left along the canyon part. Uh, we're not gonna go to Holly Lake. Um, we like rocks instead. right here.
That is exciting. The bear is coming down the trail looking at us. This is pretty sweet. He's just scrambling around some rocks, checking us out. We're gonna walk away off the trail and let him have his area. So that is a gift from God. All right, so I hear a cub beat back in the distance. So we're gonna get the heck out of here. This is incredible. So we're getting kind of sidetracked, but it's a good sidetrack. Emily's terrified. I got the bear spray out. We're good. What a great day. I love it. Emily's terrified, but I think she likes it. I'm not a bear enthusiast. <laughs> Well, make sure you're acclimated a little bit before you do this sucker. Because we are at almost 10.6 right now. And 10.6 and terrified. <laughs> There's the little cub and we are out of here. Next stop, paintbrush divide. Like every trail you do here, you cannot lose. They're all just magnificent. You just gotta get up into them. This last part is a schlag, really, really steep. The last switchback, 10,600 and some feet at the top of paintbrush divide. Gosh, I got a little break from the wind. Sitting at the top of Paintbrush Divide, looking down at Lake Solitude, a little lake I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen right now. Beautiful shot of the Grand Teton, Hurricane Pass. The trail down below leading to Lake Solitude. I can see the trail from here, Paintbrush Divide, going down into Lake Solitude. Sorry about the wind if it's picking up. Emily's being a trooper and she's sitting waiting for me. If you like this stuff, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Send it to some people, that helps. And leave comments. I like uh, chatting with everybody. 
What an unbelievable week in Grand Teton National Park. See you later.